What's good, beast hounds? It's your boy, Kick and Raid. It has been hot as all balls here. Burn me. And every single day, about 5.30, this siren song comes wafting into my garden and into my lug holes. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's only so many times that you can say no to ice cream before you break. I'm pretty sure that ice cream is sort of those like, essential amino acids, your body can't synthesize it, so you have to take it exogenously. You could take it from the ice cream man, but calories! So I put my brain on it, how do I have an ice cream without having all of the calories involved in an ice cream? And I'm pretty happy with what I've come up with. It's a coffee caramel ice cream, but you clicked on the thing, so you know. Step one is to make some coffee. You can do that any way you like. I like to turn real beans into real coffee. If you hate yourself and you want to use instant, that's totally fine. I just haven't found an instant that tastes nice. And if I'm eating ice cream, I want it to taste nice. Just because it's got low calories doesn't mean it has to taste bad. That is how you fail. You don't want to fail, do you? So, beans, coffee grinder. Coffee grounds go into the coffee maker of your choice. I'm using this Ninja coffee bar because it's simple and I like the coffee that comes out of it. I have a bunch of other ways of making coffee, but none of the others I can set an alarm on. So there's coffee there to fist me into the day the second I wake up. All you need is coffee that you like the taste of. However you get from, from not having coffee that you like the taste of to getting coffee that you like the taste of. Do that, that's step one. Now that you have a delicious brewed carafe of coffee. Oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> you need to find a way of turning it into your favorite West Side rapper. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> You're an idiot. Now that you have a delicious carafe of brewed coffee, you're gonna need to find a way to turn it into ice cubes. See what I was trying to do there? It was silly. So you can either pour it into a bowl, leave it outside and wait for the next ice age, or you can put it in an ice cube tray and then put that in the freezer, which is what I'm gonna do. You do whatever method suits you. Here's some I made earlier. Now I'd love to tell you that any blender will work, but it just ain't true. I mean, if you have a shit blender and do this, you'll probably end up with something nice. You'll probably end up with like a weird coffee frappe thing, which sounds real good. But if you want it actually creamy and chip free, you gotta get a good blender. This is the best thing I've ever bought. I use it for making uh, cauliflower rice. I use it for making cauliflower mash that is better than any mash I've ever had. We used to have a slush puppy maker, got rid of that. This makes great slush puppies. It makes incredible margaritas and it makes incredible ice cream. If you're gonna invest in something for your kitchen that isn't coffee related, get a freaking good blender. I can highly recommend this one. It's a ninja. Ice cubes go in. This is more I made earlier, earlier. So this is about 800 ml of coffee in the form of ice cubes. So if you're planning on eating this whole thing, consider that you're, <laughs> that's nearly a whole liter of coffee that you'll be drinking. So maybe do half and half with decaf, maybe use all decaf. Just, I don't want you to blow your heart up. That's all I'm saying, do whatever. 250 ml of milk goes in. Beautiful. An amount of sugar-free coffee syrup that you think is delicious. I go for eight pumps, so I guess that's 80 mil. Yes, that seems like a lot, but remember this is like four servings if you were being sensible. Lid on. Power on. Blend. Frickin' ice cream. We'll talk later. Soft serve ice cream. Holy dog shit, that's delicious. This is two liters of ice cream. That's 93 calories. Come on. It's good. Oh God, it's so good. So the only thing that really has calories in it is the skimmed milk. Use about 250 mil. 
That's 92 calories. This amount of ice cream that's bigger than my head is 92 calories. Uh, I guess we should talk about coffee syrups, these sugar-free syrups. But first I'm gonna eat all of this. Use any sugar-free syrup that you like. However, they're all inferior to Monin. You can go to TK Maxx and get a billion different types of coffee syrups for about four quid. I'll grab one. This one's by Uptown, it sucks. The Jordan ones suck less than that, but still suck way more than the Monin ones. Tried a skinny syrup one, didn't really like it. This one's not bad. This is a Simply Pumpkin Spice Syrup for autumn when that comes around. This one's actually pretty good. Basically, I have tried almost every brand on the market that I can find, and all of them pale into insignificance when compared to the Monin Sugar Free Caramel. And also, this was four quid from TK Maxx. This, I've got it on a subscribe and save on Amazon. I think it probably comes out at maybe eight quid or something, nine quid. But this actually tastes sweet, and this one, you have to put about 12 pumps in, so like, what's the point? Nut up and buy Monin, that's what I'm saying. Or don't, whatever. Oh, it's outrageously good. I've never gotten as far as there being any leftover to tell you if it freezes well, because I'm not particularly worried about my heart exploding. I like to be able to see through time. We think 70 something calories. Insane. Okay, I've stashed some in the freezer, so when I get to this point in the edit, I'll be able to let you know whether it's any good or not. Find out now. Wow, such surprising results. If you don't have any sugar-free syrup, but you have a protein powder that you like to taste of, do that instead. Use that as your flavoring agent. You're gonna end up something that has a lot more calories, but it's also got a lot more protein and protein you need. It's the number one thing that you need to get yoked. If you were gonna have a shake, you might as well have ice cream. Whatever, man, do whatever you want, but this is real good and I recommend it. Super delicious, super low calorie. It'll help you hit that summer craving. I mean, it's working for me. I thought I'd share it in case it works for you too. And uh, pretty sure, pretty sure it will. And if you're spending money on the ice cream man, why not not spend that money on the ice cream man? Save up for a good blender, make your own. It's gonna pay for itself, brother. It's gonna pay for itself. And you'll be yoked, great and summer bod. Everything's gonna be excellent. Can you tell that I've eaten half a litre of caffeinated coffee? ice cream. Anyway my friends, I'm gonna bounce. If you enjoy this, if you try it out and it works for you, drop me all the things because god damn do I need the things. But whatever you do, get them gains. Be well.